The University of Vermont has long been at the forefront of transgender equality, and now the school is getting national attention for it. Eva McKend reports. <laughs> the idea of being referred to as a girl started feeling more and more wrong. When Rocco Giselman was just 15, Rocco knew something just wasn't right. I was kind of grappling with, uh, you know, what, if I'm not a girl, what am I? The spunky 21-year-old with an infectious laugh, now a senior at the University of Vermont, then began identifying as transgender. That means the gender identity Rocco was assigned at birth isn't how Rocco identifies now. As Rocco will tell you, it's incorrect to refer to Rocco as she or her or him. I use they, them pronouns. Um, I also am cool with Z here or any other gender neutral set. I find they, them to be a little easier for folks. Um, some do the whole, it's not grammatically correct and grammar, whatever. <laughs> My identity is more important than that little like kind of hang up. <laughs> Rocco is one of many transgender students on UVM's campus the school works to embrace, most notably with the move six years ago to allow students to select their own identity regardless of whether it's been legally changed. Even a third neutral gender, the way Rocco did. A move that's now getting national and global attention, including a lengthy write-up in the New York Times. On average, I get a phone call a week from schools all over the country um, asking about how we did the project. I said, um, are you UVM registrar Keith Williams says the campus-wide preferred name system change was the most important project he's worked on in his entire career. It's actually a public safety issue. Um, transgender students, uh, trans folks in general, have the highest level of violence within the LGBT community. So um, a situation which might just seem awkward to somebody who isn't trans, where the faculty member gets the name wrong, or even worse, knows the legal name but uses the name that the student's going by, if that implies that the student is trans, it can actually could endanger the student. According to school officials, UVM was the first school in the country where students could select their own pronouns. It was a complicated and thoughtful process. It didn't just happen overnight. These databases that handle student information on college campuses are really pretty massive and pretty complex. And, you know, uh, these registrars are dealing with all kinds of legal issues around the release of student information. And, you know, that they have to be um, uh, managing all of that. And when we're changing something as fundamental as a name, um, that is, of course, comes into play. Dot Brower, head of the LGBTQA Center on Campus, worked to make that name and pronoun change for nearly a decade. We're in, among a small group of schools that are really leading the way on these issues. And, um, uh, and one of the things that we've experienced in that leadership position is uh, being able to contribute to changing the conversation nationally. Though Rocco is excited about the newfound celebrity status as a result of that Times piece, Rocco says highlighting one voice alone in the transgender movement is not enough. As a white person, like I have a lot of race privilege that plays into how people perceive me and perhaps how they also perceive my gender. And I think it's really important to kind of check our own privilege in that. Um, I think it's incredibly important that trans people are given the space to tell their own stories. Eva McKen, Channel 3 News, Burlington.